Hey everybody, my name is Jeff. I got assigned a uh, group three scenario. I specifically was um, writing on stage two, so I'll shed more light into that. Uh, my other partners were Jasmeet and Sheetal I worked with. So essentially what happened is we had Jerry who filed the complaint uh, to the OPCC on um, James the next day, so within a year. And um, of course the OPCC uh, found there was um, violations of the Police Act and found the complaint to be admissible. So they uh, and asked um, the police chief to investigate, which they did, and they and of course with professional standards, civilian oversight, all that was determined that, of course, that the complaint was admissible, um, and my stage two would be deciding the disciplinary authority. So essentially what happened is um, there's a couple violations within the Police Act I'll talk about. I'll talk about number one, which is 77 uh, 3H, there was discreditable conduct. So Jerry, uh, or sorry, James was um, using his pistol, playing a gunslinger, you know, cowboy, uh, cowboy guy in the police gym, um, showing off to the new police recruit, Tanya, uh, shot, shot the bullet, ricocheted off the mirror and hit Jerry uh, in the arm, causing a very, very minor flesh wound. But nonetheless, um, another police officer got injured as a result. Um, so the violation there for the discreditable conduct is clearly, you know, you're, you're recklessly using your gun in an undesignated area and causing bodily harm to another police officer, right? So if a police officer is shooting around other police officers, it's probably not going to look good, um, uh, you know, from a public perspective. So there's where the discreditable conduct is. It's You can't really trust this officer to properly use a, a firearm and... Even when he's off duty in the police gym and not at work or even on duty, he's not conducting himself in a professional way. So the next one would be 773K. Um, um, sorry, 70, yeah, 773K was essentially, uh, you know, the improper use of the firearm. So as a result, you can't be using your firearm in, in, des in undesignated areas. Um, and, you know, not having the safety on or thinking you have the safety on and you don't, regardless, you shot another officer, you know. So, you know, there, it's pretty clear violations. So I assume that the discipline authority would make recommendations um, to go as, to either a pre-conference a pre, a pre um, conference, uh, or um, a disciplinary hearing. So I assume they would go right to disciplinary hearing because the offense was very, um, you know, serious and that, you know, there would be some disciplinary actions towards that officer, if not termination. Thank you, guys.